Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so this video is called, Is It Even Worth It? I think so. I don't know what you're gonna think, but I think it's worth it. Um, when I started my bread and butter series, I was like, people are not gonna like this. They're gonna want the big money bolos, but I will tell you what, my bread and butter videos get more views than my big money videos. Like people want the items that they can find quickly, easily, and sell for a profit. And in this video, don't turn it off, watch it all the way through. You might be surprised at how much money I make selling these items that sell for $10 or less. And when I say they sell for $10 or less, the buyer is paying the shipping. And I typically pay, you know, 25 cents, 50 cents sometimes even 10 cents. You know, these are items that I buy in bundles at garage sales and stuff like that. So I get them super cheap. So if you look at it that way, the margins are fantastic, but no, it's not a $35 item. It's not a $10 or it's not a $25 item. It's a $10 or less item. So items you can find easily at garage sales. Here we go. If you add it all up, it, it, it adds up you guys. Um, let me know what you think. I'm just going to try this video. If you guys hate it, comment below that you hate it. If you love it, comment below that you love it. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of opinions on this. Just be kind, be nice. Um, there are people that make a living selling $10 or less items. I mean, they sell them fast and quick and it adds up you guys. All right, let's get started here. Let me get my screen share up. And I definitely want to hear what you guys think down below. All right, screen share is up. Okay, the first item is this Fisher Price Loving Family Hideaway Bunny. It's vintage from 1996. And I sold this for $9 and the buyer paid shipping. This I picked up in a lot of items, so I probably had 10, 15 cents in it. The next item I sold is this Godzilla Toho Trend Masters monster character from 1994. Again, it's vintage. And um, you can see right there. And he's just a little toy figure. And these are super easy to list. I mean, here's my um my description is basically my title repeated and pre-owned. And then I uh I usually there we go. I put measurements in the pictures. So super easy, super quick to list. And I turned what, 25 cents, 50 cents into $8 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage poodle brooch. I think this was a quarter at a garage sale. Um, honestly, I wasn't going to list it because it was missing a jewel. And then I was like, you know, it's kind of hard to see. In fact, I maybe right there, you see it? It's not super noticeable. And I was like, I'm just going to list it low and just see what happens. And of course it sold. It sold for $8.80 and the buyer paid shipping. And it sold pretty quick, really, for a brooch. The next item I sold are these Trifari earrings. These came from my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay bulk buy. And they are signed. I took a best offer on these for $9 and the buyer paid shipping. And again, I probably paid about 10 cents per item for those items. The next item I sold are these bookmarks. They came in a bulk Halloween lot that I bought, so probably 10 cents in them. And I sold these for $7.55 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage Toto plush. I believe this came for, it's the Wizard of Oz dog, if you guys don't know. But it was in kind of rough condition, but I was like, you know, somebody might like, may have had that as a kid and they're like, I just want my Toto. And I'm like, I'm going to list it. It's from 1995. Definitely well loved. And I sold it for $9 and the buyer paid shipping. And this, I believe, came from my I Got It Free garage sale video. These little baby shoes I sold for $8 and the buyer paid shipping. This was a bulk buy at a garage sale. I bought a whole tote of baby clothes that were used on um, dolls. and. Um, so they were never worn by a child. So they were all in excellent condition. And yeah, so I just sold them cheap. Eight bucks, buyer paid shipping. Chalet animals, 
Um, I will sell them individually if I feel like having patience or I will lot them up. I actually have a whole tote of these that I need to get listed, but I know they sell individually for, you know, between eight and $15. So I want to list them individually and I just haven't had, um, they're small and they don't take up a lot of space. So they're just sitting and waiting. But I sold this for $7 and the buyer paid shipping. And this one was still tagged. And I, I should have had a white background. Maybe it would have sold quicker. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Schley, definitely be on the lookout for those. These are Barbie squishy Japan boots for a Barbie doll. And they are vintage. And I sold these for $8.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Probably got about 10 cents in them, if that, and I bought them in a, a bulk buy of Barbie items. This Vera Bradley change purse, I think I paid 50 cents for it at a garage sale. I did take a best offer of $6. It was sitting a while and I just wanted to move it, and the buyer did pay shipping on that. This little silver uh, in color brooch or pin, you can see it's got the little pin back. And actually, um, I was talking to Donatella Bodolino on the phone and I had I was having her look at something in my store and she was uh, scrolling through it. Oh, I remember I was telling her I was going to be uh, support that seller Sunday in uh, Dominic's group, um, the Reselling Resource Center. If you guys haven't checked out that Facebook group, definitely go check it out. He is also known as Primetime Treasure Hunter on YouTube. Definitely check him out there also. But he does support that seller events. Um, like crazy in his group where you guys can make money. Um, it's basically the people in the Facebook group support each other by making purchases from each other. It's really a great concept. Definitely go check it out. And I have his YouTube channel linked down in the description of the video. I also have Donatella Bodolino's YouTube channel linked below. Um, she has you, she does YouTube auctions that are great for resellers. I know you guys have heard me talk about it before. But anyway, she was scrolling through my store, probably because she was going to buy something on Support That Seller Sunday. And I heard my phone go cha-ching and I was talking to her and I'm like, oh, I just sold something. And I looked down and she's like, it was her that bought it. So that was kind of cute. But she bought this little angel pen from me. And um, if you guys know Donatella, you know, you know why this was special to her. So definitely go check out Donatella Bodolino and Primetime Treasure Hunter. Again, their links are down below in the description of the video. And the next item I sold was this. Um, oh, I don't think I told you guys what. I bought this with a bunch of jewelry. So I did not, I, I don't know, like 10 cents or probably something in it. Um, and I sold it for asking price of $6.88. And the buyer paid the shipping. All right. So this is from that vintage um, hair accessories haul that I got which was also a part of the video, uh, the thrift battle between Donatella Bodolino and I on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel. So you guys can go check out that thrift battle and hear about these hair accessories that I got. This one was super cool. It's a twin bead and it's got the little um, jacks inside of it. Super cool. Um, but I sold this for $9 and the buyer paid shipping. And I have made so much money on those hair accessories. So go check it out and you can see some of the other hair accessories I got. And you can see who won that round um, of the battle. The next item is this Hallmark Bunnies um, plush bunny that I picked up at a garage sale for 50 cents. And I sold it for $9 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold, this came out of a mystery box. It's a Victoria's Secret keychain and it's discontinued. It's new with tags. And I sold this for $10 and the buyer paid shipping and this sold fast. So definitely be on the lookout for those. This loving family twins time baby girl doll. Um, I picked her up in a lot of toys. So, you know, probably 25 cents, 10 cents. I sold her for $8 and 60 cents and the buyer paid shipping. Crown Royal playing cards. Hmm, I can't remember where I got this, but I probably did not pay much for it. Um, it may have been in a mystery box, not sure. But I sold these for $7 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Cookie Monster Bowl. I believe this was either 25 cents or 50 cents. I picked it up at a garage sale and I sold it for $8.60 and the buyer paid shipping. And you can see it's kind of got some staining 
So I think I could have got more for it if that would have not been there, but it was, so $8.60. This little free Willy Whale PVC figure, um, it's not in the greatest shape, but I was like, you know, free Willy, you know, people watch that show and then they want the action figures. So I went ahead and listed it separately and it sold pretty quick. I sold him for $8.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this, um, it's a advertising coaster, but it's a ring sizer. How fun is that? And I got three of them. It was a bunch of coasters that I picked up at a garage sale. And I listed these separately because I thought they were kind of cool. And I have sold two of them and I have one left. I sold this for $7.65 and the buyer paid shipping. And this is one of the items I support, sold when I was featured for Support That Seller Sunday in Dominic's group. So thank you so much if you're watching. I appreciate your purchase. The next item I sold is this Moen um, Home Care Tread Strips. And this is another item that sold during Support That Seller Sunday. And I know one of my subscribers bought this and I appreciate that so much. And I sold this for $8.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And she said she was doing a bathroom remodel and this was perfect. So awesome. The next item, I believe this was also support that seller Sunday. And this sold for $10. It's a Hallmark keepsake ornament and it looks like Legos. And it's from 1994 and it had the original box. And again, I took a best offer of $10 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these McDonald's 2019 Shopkins Cutie Cars Happy Meal Toys. I sold these for $8.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Again, I picked them up with a bunch of toys, probably had 10 cents, 15 cents in them. And if you want to see Bolo Happy Meal Toys, yes, I said Bolo Happy Meal Toys, it is a thing. Go check out my McDonald's Happy Meal Bolo category video. You will be shocked. The next item is this American Girl Kitten. It's a plush animal that I picked up at a garage sale with a bunch of American Girl stuff. I took a best offer on this for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. This Bitty Baby book, again, came with a bulk buy of American Girl stuff. I sold this for $5 and the buyer paid shipping. And it's just a little book, but you know, I probably had 10 cents in it. The next item I sold is this brawl. And you guys have heard me talk about this one before, but it is, um, I want to say I average out, I pay about two to three dollars for these and I have sold 111 of them. And when I first got them, they were selling for more, but I'm, I'm have less sizes available. So I've lowered the price and I sold this for $9 and 26 cents and the buyer paid the shipping. And again, if you do 111 times $9, it definitely adds up. The next item I sold are these Reagan and Bush bumper stickers. I actually thought that these were going to be a bolo, but they ended up being a bread and butter or would you even list it item? And I sold these for $7 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this little Tinkerbell and she's not very big. You can see her in my hand, teeny tiny. Um, I sold her for $5 and 50 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And again, I probably got like 10 cents in her. The next item I sold is this wild Republic kitten. And I got to tell you, I almost didn't list it. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to throw it on there real quick. And it sold pretty fast and it sold for $8 and 50 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And it was just in a lot of plush that I picked up. The next item I sold are these panels, um, with Santa on them. They're for like crafters. Uh, these, this was a long tail item. It definitely had to wait on the right buyer for this. And it sold for $8 and the buyer paid shipping. But it doesn't take up much space, so not a big deal. The next item I sold is this Sesame Street Cookie Monster. I think he was in the 50 cents plush tote at a garage sale. I sold this for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. And it's a rattle also, it's super cute. These tokens came in a mystery box and the cash register was with them. But by the time I would box the cash register and all of that, I was like, eh, the shipping's going to be too much and I'm, it's not worth it. So I just sold the coins as replacement coins and I sold them for $8 and the buyer paid shipping. 
The next item is this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder talking action figure. And he's about seven inches big. And um, it did work. But I could only get it to say um, silence something. Silence. Yeah, it just said silence over and over. So I don't know if it was broke or what. But I just disclosed that in the title. And I took a best offer on this for $9. And the buyer paid shipping. So please take a minute and leave me a comment. Do you think that these items were worth listing? Would you list these items on eBay? Worth it or not worth it? Comment below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Go check out Primetime Treasure Hunter and Donatella Bodolino. They have awesome channels, great content for resellers. And if you're looking for inventory, definitely check out Donatella Bodolino. Her auctions are fantastic. And she also does auctions on T's channel, auctions the number four and a capital U auctions for you, which is also linked down below in the description of the video. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.